it was something I dreamed about for so long. And then it was kind of like, maybe in my hands, maybe not. And then suddenly it was just there. People say they're not here to make friends. Well, I am. I'm here to make friends. I want to make friends. Want to be my friend? Let's be friends. <laughs> My very first time performing was in elementary school. I wanted to perform, I had that impulse to perform, to get on a stage, to make people laugh. This is our first Glee competition. I had to audition to be on this team. It was like their first big audition. It was in high school, I kind of mustered up the courage to do my first musical. And I have a very clear memory of doing like the first show and, and walking off stage and being like, oh, that was it. That's what I want to do. <laughs> the most important community that kind of made me the artist and person that I feel like I am today is my dance group, East to West. There are already so many things that are financially and emotionally challenging about being in this industry. I think having a stronger sense of community can help wash away some of those things that are otherwise like kind of heavy. I joined East to West in 2012, right after I graduated high school. It's a K-pop dance cover group. This thing that I devoted so many years of my life to and was just sort of in it for fun ended up being the very thing that got me to Broadway, which was my dream since high school. Four, one, nine, hold, just four, bass, bass. Hold, right, left, yeah. This is where I did my very first um, professional job in 2016 called Prom Queen. I was lucky to work at The Seagull again right after Prom Queen. I did a children's musical. Because it happened back to back with Prom Queen, it created this momentum for me. Like, wow, okay, I I'm gonna do this now. And I had a lot of people sending me the audition info for K-pop because I think a lot of people knew that a lot of my history with dance and singing actually is tied to K-pop with my dance group East to West. They put out an open call. A lot of people sent it my way saying like, this is perfect for you, you should do it. But the audition process ended up taking like a year and a half, almost two years. I found out in August, 2021 that I had gotten the part. This is my Broadway debut as uh, Wuyan in K-pop. I think there are a number of challenges for people in this industry and finances and your financial well-being are crucial to balance and to have an understanding of. And I think it's really important to understand what resources you can take advantage of. There's, there's a lot that your community can offer. There's a lot that your financial institutions like Desjardins can offer. My financial plan is always being adjusted for whatever is happening and whatever I think is coming next. I am on Broadway for now. Eventually this job is going to end. There's that unpredictability to what's around the corner and so I try to have more tucked away in order to prepare for the uncertainty. I have found a lot of joy in teaching and so I've spent time devoting myself to teaching young people and that always feels very nourishing and fulfilling for my heart and also is um, a lovely way to keep myself financially sustained. Realities that are important to, I think, acknowledge while you are in between shows and you're sort of seeking to get into another show. You know, you do want to stay fresh. I try to um, self-practice as much as I can or stay grounded in things that you love and that really interest you. The advice I would give is start with what you love. This, this industry and this line of work is so unpredictable. Adjusting your focus to the things you're curious about and the things you love is the place to start and the thing to stay close to as you make your way forward. What's next for me? It's none of your business. It's none of your business. Please got that. I don't know, I, I hope, I mean, right? I don't know. I hope what's on the horizon for me is more overlap between my community and my identity and the type of theater that I do. And that's what's next for me, is keeping myself well, keeping those ties to my community strong. Lots of fun and nourishing work as a performer as well. 